What's up guys, Valentin here. In this video, I'll be comparing the new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra smartphone camera to the Panasonic Lumix GH6, a professional interchangeable lens camera. While the S22 Ultra has many different lenses built right into the smartphone, I will have to swap lenses on the Lumix GH6 to get to the same field of view here, so the overall price of the GH6 will of course be a lot higher. When it comes to the actual zoom range, it does blow my mind how compact the smartphone is compared to the somewhat equivalent pro camera setup right here. In terms of focal length, the S22 Ultra has 30 mil on the wide end all the way up to 230 mil when you zoom in. To cover the same folk range I need several lenses on the GH6 as you can see right here. Keep in mind though that the S22 Ultra is basically a set of four prime lenses and everything in between is achieved digitally which won't give you the best performance. Therefore we'll be focusing on these four focal lengths here to make the comparison as fair as possible. This is by no means a scientific test but one that should give you a pretty rough idea of how good or bad both cameras perform. To make it a little more interesting I won't really reveal which camera is which up until the very end of this video, so that you can decide for yourself which camera you like most. But now, let's get started. Which camera did you prefer? Stop the video now and put your guess into the comments down below. Oh, and please don't cheat, the results might surprise you. Alright, camera A is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and camera B is the Panasonic Lumix GH6. Did you make the right guess? Before I published this video I asked a few people with no photo or video production background and the results were all over the place. A more finished, bright and punchy look is what many people prefer and that's where smartphones are usually doing a great job. The GH6 definitely has more accurate colors though, it also isn't over sharpened like most smartphone cameras I have tested so far and therefore feels
feels a lot more realistic. Nonetheless, I am still amazed by the results of the S22 Ultra. When viewing the footage on a small screen, both cameras are perfectly fine in my opinion. In a social media context, working with a smartphone like the S22 Ultra does make a lot of sense to me, as you don't have to copy your files to a computer first, edit them and then publish. You can do all of that inside of the S22 Ultra, which saves you a lot of time. Previously, I was taking the GH5 that I was using before the GH6 with me basically everywhere. The camera always produced great images for me, but I often found myself in a struggle when it was sitting deep inside of my backpack while something interesting happened right in front of me. That's where smartphones like the S22 Ultra really shine. It is so convenient to just slide it out of your pocket, open up the camera, take some images, quickly share it without any steps in between and be done with it. The best camera is the one you have with you. And that is a fact right there. But all of that doesn't mean that professional cameras are losing their purpose. In fact, the opposite is the case here, and although I think that smartphones will replace small point-and-shoot cameras in the long run, they'll never be able to replace something with a decent-sized sensor like the Lumix GH6, for example, that will usually give you a lot better low-light performance, improved usability due to a bigger body size, and more flexibility in post-production thanks to its special codex. That's just physics and the same discussion as full frame over micro four thirds for better low-light performance. As long as both systems are using the same tech, the larger sensor will always win in terms of image quality. But hey, that's just my opinion and I'm still using Micro Four Thirds in a world where full frame cameras are dominating the market. So yeah, you can apply the same principles to smartphones of course and just use what works best for you without caring what everyone else is thinking. If you want to see how the S22 Ultra performs for vlogging, you can watch my video right here and if the YouTube algorithm isn't completely messing up again, you should see another interesting video that was picked just for you right here. If you found this video helpful or at least entertaining then please consider subscribing or leaving a thumbs up for the algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.